Hey everyone, so in this video, I will be explaining you about TCA cycle, why it is called as amphibolic cycle. So first, uh, you need to understand what is the meaning of amphibolic here. So the amphibolic cycle, it means that, so the TCA cycle intermediates, they can go into anabolic reactions, means to use to be synthesized for a new molecule or uh, TCA cycle intermediate simply can undergo catabolism and uh, break down into carbon dioxide molecule and be used for energy purpose. So it means it can go into catabolism, it can go into anabolism. Uh, that's why TCA cycle intermediates, um, since they go into both catabolism and anabolism. So this is why TCA cycle is called as amphibolic cycle. So anyway, to understand uh, how this process goes on. So I have a video on TCA cycle, all the reactions and important reactions uh, that are there in the TCA cycle has been explained. And the link for that video is in the description below. So now let's uh, move on to see uh, what is the uh, importance of TCA cycle in terms of why it is referred as an amphibolic cycle. So in order to understand that, let me like quickly review uh, TCA cycle uh, intermediate, some of them. So the acetyl-CoA condensing with oxaloacetate by citrate synthase enzyme. So you're going to get uh, citrate. And this citrate here, so it will be converted into isocitrate by aconitase enzyme. Now the isocitrate will be converted to alpha-ketoglutarate by isocitrate dehydrogenase. Alpha ketoglutrate is converted to succinyl CoA by alpha ketoglutrate dehydrogenase complex. Succinyl CoA is converted to succinate by succinate thiokinase and the succinate into fumarate by succinate dehydrogenase and fumarate into malate by fumarase enzyme and malate into oxaloacetate by malate dehydrogenase. So this is just uh, all the enzymes and reactions uh, seen in TCA cycle. Now, uh, while this oxidase, so overall, TCA cycle is to oxidize acetyl-CoA and this acetyl-CoA has got two carbons and those two carbons will be released as carbon dioxide molecule. So let me write down where exactly the, those two carbons. So it has a two carbon acetyl-CoA. So carbon dioxide, one of the carbon dioxide will be released in isocitrate dehydrogenase reaction and the second carbon dioxide will be released in uh, alpha ketoglutrate dehydrogenase reaction. So this is how uh, two carbons present in acetyl-CoA will be released, one in uh, isocitrate dehydrogenase, second in alpha ketoglutrate dehydrogenase uh, complex reaction. That's the complete oxidation of acetyl-CoA and this, that's basically the catabolism of acetyl-CoA and other molecules will be converted back into oxaloacetate. So that's basically the catabolic part of TCA cycle. Now let's look at uh, the anabolic part of TCA cycle. What are the molecules that can be synthesized by TCA cycle intermediate? Note that whenever a person is in fed condition and when the TCA cycle is saturated, this TCA cycle will have a negative modulation by NADH molecule on three enzymes. One is on isocitrate dehydrogenase, second is on alpha ketoglutrate dehydrogenase, and the third is on malate dehydrogenase. So the NADH molecules will have a negative effect on all these three enzymes. So basically with the negative effect on these three enzymes, so TCA cycle slows down. But if the person is in well-fed condition, so during that time, so what happens is, so the citrate, it will move out of mitochondria because eventually citrate builds up when there's a negative effect on uh, this enzyme here. So the citrate builds up and the citrate that is accumulating in the matrix of mitochondria will move out into the cytoplasm and in the cytoplasm, this citrate will go into fatty acid synthesis. So it will form fatty acid. So fatty acid synthesis and also citrate can go into cholesterol synthesis. So fatty acid and cholesterol formation can happen. That's one of the anabolic reaction. So that can come from TCA cycle. Coming with other molecule. Now alpha ketoglutarate. Alpha ketoglutarate can go out of TCA cycle to make a glutamate molecule. Amino acid glutamate can be synthesized from alpha ketoglutarate. And also you can synthesize uh, GABA, gamma amino butyric acid from glutamate. These two are, uh, are uh, neurotransmitters. So <clears throat> we can synthesize neurotransmitters, transmitters that is glutamate and GABA 
from TCA cycle intermediate that is alpha keto glutarate molecule and also the succinyl coa which is a TCA cycle intermediate it can go into heme synthesis succinyl coa can go into heme synthesis that's another reaction <coughs> where succinyl coa intermediate can be used to synthesize a new molecule and also note that like uh, fumarate here fumarate can be uh, can go into uh, an anabolic reactions and now the another uh, uh, thing here is about malate malate under fasting condition it can move out of tca cycle and go into the cytoplasm and eventually it can be converted into glucose by gluconeogenesis process gluconeogenesis so malate can go into glucose formation by gluconeogenesis process that's how malate can go out of tca cycle now the oxaloacetate oxalate state can go out of tca cycle to make aspartate amino acid aspartate can come from oxaloacetate so uh, right now we have seen uh, some of the molecules uh, present in the some of the tca cycle intermediates which can go out of tca cycle first one that we have seen is citrate going into fatty acid synthesis cholesterol synthesis alpha ketoglutarate going into neurotransmitter formation succinyl coa going into heme synthesis and uh, malate going into glucose formation in gluconeogenesis oxaloacetate going into aspartate formation now my question here is like what will happen to uh, when the tca cycle intermediate is taken out of tca cycle like imagine oxaloacetate is all diverted into aspartate formation so there will be gap here to continue TCA cycle like what if acetyl CoA is coming and TCA cycle has to continue now but we don't have sufficient oxaloacetate to combine with acetyl CoA to make citrate so during this time what will happen so there must be some reactions which can fill the gap just in case if the oxaloacetate goes out of TCA cycle if the TCA cycle need to be continued from acetyl CoA onwards you really need to provide oxaloacetate so how to make that oxaloacetate in the same way how to uh, same way how to make succinyl coa how to make alpha ketoglutarate things like that so uh, whenever tca cycle intermediates are going out of tca cycle so there are other reactions there are separate reactions which can make these molecules and fill the gap and those are referred as a uh, gap filling reactions so the gap filling reactions are referred as anaplorotic reactions let me write it down here so the gap filling reactions are referred as anaplorotic reactions anaplorotic so anaplorotic reactions are simply uh, they are referred as gap filling reactions they simply fill the gap gap filling so gap filling reactions are referred as anaplorotic reaction and one of the important example for anaplorotic uh, reaction or uh, example for anaplorotic enzyme uh, now let me explain you uh, the important uh, anaplorotic uh, enzyme here so the most important anaplorotic enzyme that is explained uh, to explain anaplorotic reaction is uh, pyruvate carboxylase enzyme now the pyruvate carboxylase pyruvate carboxylase if you remember uh, classification of enzymes so uh, there are six classes of enzymes in that like the sixth class that i have explained in my previous video is the ligase class of enzyme and the ligases are they end as carboxylase because the carboxylation reaction is a ligase uh, class of reaction so ligases are cause uh, carboxylases uh, they they end as like uh, uh, means ligases generally they end as carboxylase and these carboxylases they need uh, atp biotin and carbon dioxide so i will write it as a b c so they need atp they need biotin and they need carbon dioxide and also they need magnesium this is the requirement for uh, pyruvate carboxylase enzymes so this is one of the anaplorotic enzyme the major anaplorotic enzyme uh, is uh, pyruvate carboxylase uh, so it is an anaplorotic enzyme anaplorotic enzyme 
So that means this is a gap filling enzyme. So what it does, it's going to fill the gap in tissue cycle. Whenever oxalocetate is taken out of tissue cycle, so pyruvate carboxylase, what it does, it's going to convert some of the pyruvate in the matrix of mitochondria into oxaloacetate. Oxaloacetate. This is how it's going to fill the gap for oxaloacetate. So pyruvate carboxylase reaction converts pyruvate which is a 3 carbon molecule into oxaloacetate which is a 4 carbon molecule. So this is what is the carboxylation reaction. So the bicarbonate, carbon dioxide in the form of bicarbonate enters into the reaction and of course uh, there is a need of ATP. So ATP is converted into ADP here in this reaction and also biotin is needed in this reaction and it is a mag it needs a magnesium. So I just simply write it as A, B, C, ATP, biotin, carbon dioxide and magnesium. So this is what is uh, one of the anaplerotic reaction that can fill the gap in TCA cycle by making oxaloacetate whenever oxaloacetate is taken out of TCA cycle. Okay, so <clears throat> Uh, one of the molecules, so whenever um, there is excess levels of acetyl-CoA and lack of oxaloacetate because when the uh, oxaloacetate is taken out of TCA cycle, so but there is acetyl-CoA which is uh, accumulating because oxaloacetate is uh, less. So citrate synthase doesn't have ox sufficient oxaloacetate to combine acetyl-CoA uh, to make citrate. So because oxaloacetate is less, so at that time acetyl-CoA concentration builds up. And whenever in the mitochondrial matrix, please remember, whenever there is excess acetyl-CoA, so whenever acetyl-CoA accumulates in the matrix of mitochondria, that acetyl-CoA will have a positive effect on pyruvate carboxylase enzyme. So acetyl-CoA is considered as positive allosteric modulator on pyruvate carboxylase enzyme. Remember that because oxaloacetate has to combine with uh, acetyl-CoA in the very first reaction in TCA cycle just in case if there is lack of oxaloacetate so the acetyl-CoA builds up and that acetyl-CoA what it does it is going to have a positive effect on pyruvate carboxylase enzyme thereby acetyl-CoA activating pyruvate carboxylase is going to take or divert some of the pyruvate into oxaloacetate so that this oxaloacetate can, can combine with the acetyl-CoA to make citrate and that's how the TCA cycle can be continued, okay. So uh, this is what is uh, anaplerotic reaction. So similarly, we have other uh, enzymes, other reactions where they can fill up the gap in TCA cycle. Example, like if there is uh, uh, a need for succinyl-CoA. So let me write it down in the next slide here. Imagine uh, succinyl CoA is taken out of TCA cycle. So succinyl CoA, succinyl CoA is taken out of TCA cycle. Just uh, imagine like that because to synthesize heme, succinyl CoA can go towards the heme synthesis. So there will be gap in the TCA cycle. How to fill that gap? So uh, there is a molecule called propionyl CoA. This propionyl CoA can be converted into methyl melanyl CoA and that methyl melanyl CoA can be converted to succinyl CoA. So uh, how, to get, how to get this propionyl CoA? Propionyl CoA can come from oxidation of branched chain amino acid. It can come from oxidation of odd number carbon fatty acids. It can come from uh, synthesis of bile acids uh, and it can come from uh, catabolism of valine, isoleucine, methionine and I'm sorry. So it can come from oxidation of valine, isoleucine, uh, threonine and methionine. So these are the sources for propionyl CoA. So sources for propionyl CoA is oxidation of branched chain fatty acid branch sorry branched chain yeah branched chain fatty acid oxidation of branched chain fatty acid branched chain fatty acid example is phytanic acid phytanic acid oxidation can give propionyl CoA uh, oxidation of odd number carbon fatty acid 
आर नंबर कार्बन फैटी एसिड एंड सिंथेसिस ऑफ बाइल एसिड बाइल एसिड सिंथेसिस एंड कैटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ वेलिन ब्रांचेड चेन एमिनो एसिड वेलिन आइसोलुसिन थ्रियोनाइन एंड मैथाइनिन सो यू कैन रिमेम्बर द सोर्सेस ऑफ प्रोपेन ऑयल को एज बॉब नीड्स वाइटमिन एम और बॉब नीड्स विटामिन एम बॉब मीन्स ब्रांचेड चेन ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ ब्रांचेड चेन फैटी एसिड दैट इज फाइटेनिक एसिड ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ ऑर्ड नंबर कार्बन फैटी एसिड बाइल एसिड सिंथिस कैटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ वेलिन आइसोलूसिन थ्रियो नाइन एंड मैथाइन इन बॉब नीड्स विटामिन एम दिस इज द सोर्स फॉर प्रोपेन ऑयल कोए वंस यू गेट प्रोपेन ऑयल कोए प्रोपेन ऑयल कोए कैन बी कन्वर्टेड टू सक्सिन ऑयल कोए एंड दैट फिल्स द गैप इन टीशियर साइकिल सो दिस इज दि लाइक दिस सो वी आर वेराइटी ऑफ रिएक्शंस दैट कैन फिल द गैप इन टीशियर साइकिल दिस टाइप ऑफ रिएक्शंस वी कॉल दम एज एनाप्लोरोटिक रिएक्शंस सो दैट्स अबाउट Uh, why uh, tsa cycle is referred as amphibolic cycle and uh, now you know <coughs> uh, what is the meaning of anaplorotic uh, reaction so as always thanks for watching and uh, for to get regular notification so consider subscribing to this channel and also if you like the video give thumbs up and if you have any questions so you can comment or leave feedback so just in case if you have a question so i will get back to you uh, as and when i get time so again thanks for watching and see you in my next video